this is Pam from pamgriffithscoaching.com. Well, today I want to share my personal journey of starting a coaching business. And I'm feeling called to thank you team, <laughs> to share my story most vulnerably and authentically with you today. Um, you know, I think sometimes from the outside looking in, uh, people can make all kinds of assumptions around how you got here in business and maybe I make it look too simple sometimes for my clients and so, uh, and those who uh, might be looking to, toward, you know, getting support along their coaching journey and building their coaching practice. So I want to take you back uh, to 2010 and this is where I took the leap from corporate I knew inside I had a niggling feeling that it was time for me to take the leap and I worked with a coach prior to taking that courageous step um, to really get clear on what I needed in order to um, step away from corporate and move into my own coaching business and start to build that. And so, um, so I share that with you because that is one of the pieces that I needed and I encourage you, if you're considering taking the leap, to you know, figure out what you need to have in place in order to feel like you can breathe and focus on building your business because Building a business is a two to three to five year and continue <laughs> continue on beyond five years to growing a solid practice. And so, um, so I wanted to share that with you because it's really super important to know what do I need to have in place financially, resource wise, to get the support that you need to have the resources you need in order to you know, practically, methodically, and intentionally uh, make decisions for yourself and in your life um, that really support you in growing your business. So in 2010, uh, I had everything I needed to, to take the leap. Um, I felt the fear and did it anyway. Was I second guessing myself? Absolutely. Were there times where I thought, Oh yeah, I could do this. And then uh, in the next breath, I was thinking, well, maybe not so much. I really, I don't know. I've built businesses before, but I had spent 10 years in business development and leadership development in the corporate world. And I really knew my thing there. Um, but selling coaching was like a whole other thing. How do I sell coaching? What is that all about? And so um, the other piece that's really important for me to share with you, and I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. It was a courageous leap to, um, to decide to leave corporate when people around me were saying, why would you do that? You're making great money and you have this great career. And I traveled and I had a, you know, a budget and I you know, got to see so many places around the, the globe that I might not have seen otherwise. And so yeah, I kind of wondered if I would be successful and eventually I just knew it was something I absolutely had to do. And so I did take the leap and I did it knowing that I have had three children at the time. I was a single parent. I had a mortgage to pay. I had car, a car payment like everyone else. Um, I had to figure out how I was going to put food on the table and it was tough and it was scary. And um, yeah, some days I would sit at my desk and say, how am I gonna do this? Like, I need income now. And you know, in business, it doesn't work that way. It's not when you are ready to, uh, you know, have money in your bank account to pay your bills. Your clients will see you and respond to you and work with you when they're ready not when you're ready. And so, you know, that whole idea for me was new. 
And, um, you know, there, there were so many risks I had to take. And so imagine, you know, as a single parent, three children uh, and a mortgage and just trying to figure it out, brand new business. And so I learned, I fortunately had some sales skills and learned how to, you know, help others develop their businesses and, and develop their leadership skills. Um, and so I knew I had many tools and resources within me, but there were a lot of blind spots and there were a lot of mindset situations daily that came up for me. Am I smart enough? Am I good enough? Maybe it really won't work. Maybe, you know, people that surrounded me that said, why are you doing this? Maybe I'm gonna, you know, maybe they were right. And so was it easy to make those decisions? Absolutely not. Was it worth it? Absolutely, it was worth it. And it doesn't mean that today that I run a successful coaching practice, a global coaching practice, it doesn't mean that today I, I don't have struggles. I do. They're just different. Um, and you know, there's a saying, a new level, a new devil. And so every time you reach new heights in your business, you know, there's other fears that come up. And so I, I'm sharing this with you today because I want you to know that building a business isn't for the faint of heart. And if you have a deeper calling within you, you know that this is something that you want to do and you want to serve more people and you're ready to take the leap, I would love for you to join us. Fridays, we're having a call every Friday morning, 10.30 Eastern Standard Time with a group of global coaches. Um, and we're talking about some of the challenges that we face as women, um, some of the mindset, you know, around building a successful uh, business, um, and and all of those, you know, those conversations that go on inside our head to really kind of try to throw us off our game. Are we good enough? Are we smart enough? Who are we to do this? And who who would want to work with me? And why would they want to work with me? And where do my clients hang out? And um, what are the programs that, I, that I'm going to sell? And who will want this? And what are my clients struggling with? And there's a lot of um, unknowns if you're just starting a business and, and a lot of unknowns if you have already begun building a business and maybe you're at the three-year mark or the five-year mark and you want to leverage uh, your business so that you can reach more people and maximize your time. You know, I, I've spent, invested tens of thousands of dollars before I even opened my coaching business. Um, I had a coach and so it's so important to make sure that you have the support that you need along your journey because it is possible for you and if you set your mind to it and get the support and have the resources around you, you can make it happen. And so I just, I wanna leave that with you today because, you know, I think sometimes from the outside looking in, people might think, ah, you know, some of the coaches I might look to say, ah, they've got it all together. They know how to do this. Well, I'm gonna share with you that no, in fact, a lot of them are learning along the way. We never stop learning and so the more we grow ourselves and our business, you know, there's, there's blind spots for me. Um, and so each new level, I hire a new coach to get me um, into that new realm of thinking and into that new realm of alignment because sometimes we have an idea of where we wanna go uh, and we really truly believe that uh, that is where our, we're destined to be. We can take the leap or take a courageous step forward Sometimes our alignment has to catch up to that. Our mindset has to catch up to that. Our business results have to catch up to that so that we feel totally aligned with 
who we are and what, what we want and, and lead our business into the future. I want to leave you with that inspiration today that getting support no matter where you are on your journey of learning and growth it is so important to get the support you need to reach the new heights um yeah higher the level bigger the devil so i want to um leave you with this important um invitation if you will to join me friday the link is below and these calls are complimentary i'm just really just wanting to get out there in a really big way to support millions. I had this divine download that I am here to serve millions. And um, so what does that mean for me? I am showing up Friday mornings to reach more coaches around the globe uh, to jump on a call with me and we're simply having a chat about all of this that I've talked about. What are the fears? What's the mindset? What are the limiting beliefs around playing bigger in your life? regardless of what that is. Um, so many of us right now, especially with this whole pandemic, are in transition. Um, and you know what worked, we talked about on last Friday, what was working before is no longer working. And so how do we find the new way forward? What is our new norm in how we engage others, um, you know, or, you know, maybe it's something around a relationship or, or a career move or, um, you know, any kind of transition. A lot of people are experiencing that now because we've kind of had a lot of space. Some of us have had a lot of space um, for thinking. And, you know, the good news is that's where the gold is. When you can find some time and some space to really start to um, get clear about what you want and why you're here. We all have a purpose. And so I want to leave you with that little piece of inspiration for today. And thanks for joining. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye for now.